That's the power of the cameras of life, people. Oh my gosh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> I think, do you think that also we should also, maybe it should be taught more so we are able, we are a bit more, so we can recognize it in other people. So we can then, for example, someone, so for example, say I'm living with someone, right? And they start to, the mental health starts to deteriorate or something like that, right? But because I've learned about these this issues, I can, I can see the symptoms and the signs and I can help, maybe, do you know what I mean? So maybe I could help them, um, with some easy things that or direct them to someone who could help do you know what i mean just it's not just because i think for example right now so if someone i knew was suffering mental health um i what would what would i do i'm not i'm not actually sure what i would do apart from maybe tell them to go see someone but then it's like who do you see you know i don't think it's if, if someone is ill there's an emergency i know it's called 999 if someone is if someone is is is, is depressed or is going it's has is anxious what do i do you know what i mean like i know you do you can, think like, they should set it up in like one of you know how obviously with the 999 and whatnot like there are obviously numbers for people to call if they've got if they're suffering through a, a downward spiral in, in a mental aspect but do you think if there was like an established line yes like a, a well-known and something yeah. like 999 where there's i know there's like the samaritans which you can call but do i know the samaritans number off by heart no i, I mean of course I, I can google it but if you're something as easy as 111 or one of you know one of those numbers that we use for not like emergencies or not you don't want to go to the hospital but it's just so like what's this is, is it, one, two, is, it like is it on is it on the like on the soundboard do you know the options like is it one of the options you can pick already because i don't really know i don't know i don't i'm not sure I'm not sure either, but yeah, no, I think that would be helpful. And I think also if there were, you're 100% spot on with that life. They were to teach kids as well back in school of like signs and aspect, take it from in a serious manner in terms of they have psychology lessons, I think nowadays. So I think that's something that could be implemented because as a society now, if you were to compare it from 10 years ago, we are definitely taking it a lot more serious, but obviously there's so much more that can be done and should be done. So you're 100% spot on with that. That is something. I think the education system needs to change in general i think the the world has changed and pe there, maybe there's some things that should be put on the curriculums and some do you know what i mean so we live in a more diverse world we live in a world where it's a lot more technology based so kids should be able to learn about all these kind of things and i think and things like not like mental health should also be you know when we, we i don't know if you remember but you know back in school there used to be kind of like sexual health clinics and there was um like citizenship like citizenship classes and all those kind of different subjects mental health should definitely be something that is taught in one of, in some of those subjects just to, i mean i don't know if it is I haven't been in school for a while now, so I might it might, it might already be in schools, and I don't know. Um, but I not I haven't heard of it. So if it if it if it already has, then obviously my comment is invalid. But if it isn't, maybe it'd be an interesting thing to add to the curriculum. So when kids grow up, being able to talk about how you're feeling is normalized, and things like boys don't cry or only girls cry and all that kind of stuff can be eradicated, and kids can grow, can grow up to be able to show emotions and not build not hold things inside. And because males, I think men under the age of 40 are the big like the biggest group of like suicides or something like that um because men aren't allowed to be aren't allowed to basically show their feelings you know they're not allowed to talk about if they're sad when i say not allowed you know what i mean it's not like you're not allowed to but it's like a social stigma against it where men are not expected to be emotional do you think it's improved a little bit though like if you were to look at from our social circles definitely i think not i think some celebs talking about how they're feeling have probably made it a lot more easier when you say for... celebs though i I think you're totally right like but especially those are that effective like for example for like guys like us people who who are supposed to be let's say hard nuts talking about let's say vulnerable moments that does help a lot because obviously guys look up the can you name me any because I can't think of anyone off the top of my head like Idris Elba is one possibly I can think of anything so else? I think like I think like Gary Lineker some of some ex-footballers and Danny I meant Rose, hard nuts in there um, I said hard, hard nuts oh hard nuts oh right I think you just meant, <laughs> meant I think you're talking about like celebs in general who kind of like no but I mean people who you don't issues. people who you wouldn't expect to come out and say look you know it's it's, it's, it's fine to do this uh, it's you know you should do don't bottle stuff up people like oh who, who was oh, it Tyson Fury Tyson Fury that's it that's, that's a the great main example Hard, that's a brilliant 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 example yes yeah people like that yeah so when they talk about their issues that they've been through it's very inspiring like Tyson Fury's stories is so inspirational honestly I'm a fan of him just because of his story <laughs>